Right, in this video we'll talk about the um, YC endorsed uh, syllabus template and there is a link provided in um, the checklist to get that. Um, if you ever need to get to that checklist again or to that syllabus template you can do a search you can do a search on the YC website and search for syllabus template and that should give you a take you to the syllabus development page or give you the option to click on that and on the syllabus development page down at the bottom is where you can download it again in the future if you need it and don't have access to this checklist so that's what that's at alright so let's say that we've downloaded that syllabus temp and it looks like this so and there's instructions on it just fill out the green text delete everything above this line so you're just going to fill out the course title um, all this information your name office yada yada super important is the course description and um, also the outcomes and uh, the content and outcomes information links are provided to you uh, to go to the college website and get those so if I were to click on this, it's going to take me to the catalog page. I can search my course and then select select the course and it's going to outline the content and outcomes that can be copied and placed into your syllabus. Right? So once you have this all filled out, what you want to do is place it into the syllabus area for your course. So to do that, what we do is we click on syllabus and we're going to go to edit. Now um, once you're in here we're going to go to insert we're going to insert a document and we're going to upload it from our computer. We're going to click on we can either drag it to this area or click here to find it. And once we've identified we're going to click submit. Alright so now it has placed a link in there which is great. We're going to click update real quick. Right? So that's kind of obscure, kind of small, right? So students might not see that. So we're going to take a look at what we can do to make it more I don't know, pronounced or viewable to the students from the get-go. So we're going to go back into edit view. And we're going to click on that link and then select link options. We're going to say that we want to preview this link inline and expand the preview by default. So when students go to this page, it's going to have it a preview of the syllabus opened up to where we can see it. Click done. And also, course summary. Course summary um, is an auto-generated list of all of the due dates of assignments that you have throughout your course. The Teaching and E-Learning Support Department has found that this is confusing for some instructors and some students. Because of this, we recommend turning it off. So just deselect that little checkbox and update the syllabus. So you'll see now that when a student clicks on syllabus, that after a moment, the syllabus loads. And students could view the syllabus from this page. They can also click this little download button here to download a copy of it for their own computer or they can even print it from there. Alright, so that's how you can get the course syllabus and place it into Canvas.